Hey, Church here. Did y'all miss me? I apologize for the delay in the videos. I've uh, been recovering from COVID for the past couple weeks. Fear not, though. I'm feeling much better. Today, I'm bringing you another dive site review. Today's dive site review is going to be on the historic and beautiful underground cavern, Paradise Spring. Now, this dive site is not for beginners or the faint of heart, but if you have experience and a love for caves and caverns, then this dive site is a must. Church here with Rest and Rec. Thank you for tuning in. Your viewership is greatly appreciated. Paradise Spring is located in Ocala, Florida. A little off the beaten path, your GPS is going to take you down a dirt road to someone's house. So if you feel lost, you're probably in the right place. Back in March, I dove Paradise Springs with my fraternity brother and fellow dive master, James Curley. Wait, is it dove or dived? Is dove even a word? Have I really been saying this wrong my entire life? What did you say? I said it specifically bans physical violence. It specifically. Anyway, I dived Paradise Spring back in March. A little bit about this dive site. Paradise Spring is an entirely underground river with only one entrance and exit, known as a karst window, which you see me jumping into here. Upon your descent, immediately below the entrance, you'll see the debris cone. This pile of rocks was once the ceiling of the cavern before it caved in and created the opening. Now, Paradise Spring is the shape of an upside-down L. To the right, it takes you to the deep section of the cavern and the cave, and to the left, you get to the shallow area and the 15-foot platform. Since it's good practice to do the deeper sections first, we made a right. Mostly sticking to the bottom on our descent, we observed the rocky, sandy bottom of the cavern. Getting away from the only source of ambient light, this was when we busted out the flashlights. This dive site requires you to have a primary and a backup light on you and your dive buddy. As an additional safety precaution, they have a permanent guideline running across the center of the ceiling, just in case you somehow manage to lose all four lights and you can't see the exit. So over the years, tree limbs and whatnot have fallen into the spring and turned black with age. Right here, I uh, <laughs> confused one of them for what I thought was a snake. False alarm, it's just an old black twig. Along the limestone walls and ceiling, you'll see distinct layers of rock horizons. Embedded in these layers, you'll find prehistoric sand dollar fossils. They mentioned some other saltwater animals too, but I'm no archaeologist, I couldn't make out anything other than the sand dollars. At 100 feet, the cavern portion bottoms out and it becomes a cave, which is clearly marked by the infamous reaper sign. Now, for those of you that don't know the difference between a cave and a cavern, a cave is whenever you are underground and you can't see any ambient outside light coming in. A cavern, you can see ambient light coming in. That's why you have to have special training and special equipment in order to enter caves. Whereas the rules around cavern diving... What is more what you call guidelines than actual rules? That's why you don't have to present a cavern cert before you enter the cavern, but they do strongly encourage you be an advanced diver. Working your way back toward the entrance, you'll get a more detailed perspective of the cavern. I saw some catfish, some hidden crevices in the walls, and some interesting statues. On the platform side of the cavern, you'll see a different texture to the rocks. The limestone has a jagged look to it, and all of the rocks look like they've been painted black. There is speculation that the cavern may not have always been completely filled with water, and these black rocks are stained from fires lit in this shallow area by Neanderthal types. Now, if you're like me, you're probably wondering how thousands of years of fresh water exposure didn't wash the soot off the rocks. Good question! I'm no archaeologist. I'm only telling you what I was told. Despite this being an advanced dive site, this is one of the easiest dives I've ever made. There is no current. It's linear, so there is no way to get lost. It was such a laid-back dive, I decided that I had the comfort level to use my full face mask for the second dive. As long as you aren't scared of the dark and or confined water, this dive site is a ton of fun. Alright, dive site characteristics. Let's talk about them. 
All right, so this place is only open from Wednesday to Sunday. You pull up to the house the GPS takes you to. You watch this uh, short video that gives you a little history lesson and gives you the lowdown on the rules. One specific thing to this dive site is you're not allowed to dive with knives. Apparently they've had issues in the past where people have been whittling away at the fossils on the walls. Once you watch the video, you pull through the gate and that takes you into the diving area where you park. Uh, they have gazebos, changing rooms, bathrooms, and you're about 50 feet away from the actual dive site opening. Temperature. This spring stays a consistent 70 degrees year round. No thermoclines, it's just straight 70 from the surface all the way down to 100 feet. I wore my 7 mil and I was very comfortable. Rental gear. To my knowledge, I don't think they offer rental gear, but since they cater mostly to advanced divers, it's fair to assume that most advanced divers have their own gear already. Water visibility. This spring is just like all the other Florida springs. It is full of that crystal clear spring water we all know and love. No brackish water, no turbulence, all the divers who dive here are advanced, so you don't really have to worry about people going down there and tearing up the bottom like they usually do at these sites. The only limiting factor is the lack of sunlight, so it's really just up to the strength of your eyes. But as far as water clarity goes, it's nearly perfect. Ecology. I saw some black bass down at the bottom. Uh, there may be some other stuff, but the black bass were really the only thing I saw. Price. It was $30 a person. Um, I think they prefer cash, so it might behoove you to have some of that on hand. Rating. This dive site is truly unique. The only other dive site I think that can compare to this might be Blue Grotto, but this is much more confined and much more limited on space. I mean, it, it gives you that true cavern feel. It's also not as mainstream as Blue Grotto, so this place just feels a lot more like it's yours. I would say just given the sheer uniqueness of this dive site, I would give it mm, four stars. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. That way you never miss a new dive site review. Also, share it with your friends. That way they can know about dive sites like this. Paradise Springs is too nice of a dive site to not spread the word. And your sharing really helps this channel grow. This has been Church with Rest and Wreck. Take it easy.